Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna look at this Ferrari F355. This is only, it's two exposures. It's actually just one pass on the car. And um, I do like actually how it was lit from just the one pass. There are some small cleanup things I wanna do. Um, but um, the two images here, um, one for the foreground I do like, and the other one on the other exposure for the car. So we'll just quickly combine these two, just kind of paint this out here so we can get the nice exposure on the car. And I admit with this photo, this isn't the strongest photo. I do like how the car was lit, but the, the composition isn't great. Uh, I mean, it's an okay photo, uh, but it's not fantastic. Um, and you'll see since um, I didn't have an additional exposure, I didn't have a foreground exposure. And what I should have done is really just um, taken one probably 20 second, maybe 30 second exposure without any lights at all, just so I could have that base so I could really blend that in to have it for background. Uh, but sometimes, I mean, it's gonna happen. I did forget to do it. So what can I do with this photo? And uh, you'll look at some things here and you'll see these little kind of reflections in the car, these little little dots, and that could be a combination of being from the ice light, uh, but the surrounding lights that are in the background as well. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna create a layer, it's just a clean up layer, and I'm gonna go through this quickly and it's cleaning up these little dots, these little lights, and also kind of adding some light as well, because these streaks from the ice light I do like, uh, but there are some that are kind of missing and I'm gonna put those in there. So we'll just quickly go through using a combination of tools. We're using the clone stamp tool, we're using the patch tool, and we're using the pen tool as well to kind of get around some of the selections so we can easily clean those up. On the tire there, I did have a little, little color cast on the tire that I wanted to desaturate. Now here on the side, you'll see with the light, I wanted to kind of continue the light streak that you see that's on the back, uh, near the back fender and the back wheel, all the way across the side of the car. And so I'm using the pen tool, making a selection, a very thin selection here. And we'll combine the two and we'll make, uh, we'll right click and a selection here, 0.2 pixels. And just, we're gonna fill this in with white. And I'm just sampling a color from the other streak there that's near the back and filling that in with, uh, with that color. Now it does go over, you'll see it does go over the, um, the crease that's in the door and also the, uh, the keyhole that's on the side here. So I just want to use a mask and just take those out. Obviously that wouldn't go over that. And that's just cleaning that up a little bit here. And just take our time. And we want to brush, it's kind of um, the hardness up quite a bit. And now with this light here, you'll see it kind of caught the light when I was going around the back of the car. Uh, I do like that. So I want to do the same thing and actually create that light. So again, with the pen tool, we're making a selection around here. And we'll make sure it's nice and thin and follows the line that is there. Stretch this out. And click here. Make sure we got a little curve here, take it back. Make a selection, point two, and sample the color from the other one and just paint that in. Deselect. And the same thing, I did the same thing with the back. You'll see the streak right on the bumper there. I did combine it uh, on the left side. It didn't go all the way. I wanted to, uh, to kind of include and, and really combine those two and make sure it's connected along with the, uh, the bumper I did as well near the bottom, near the exhaust. And that's just really making a consistent light streak that's around the back of the car and adding some that's on the side of the car. With the ice light, it is a exposure where I started from the right and I did go to the left and uh, I think it was 15 seconds and the exposure itself, um, when you do hold that light in a horizontal fashion, it does have that streak on the side. Now you'll see some of these streaks up near the top. Uh, this isn't really a big deal. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time cleaning this up, but these streaks are from the small little light that's on the back of the ice light too. Um, and it was another, uh, another thing I overlooked. I did try to cover it as best I could with my hand, uh, but I should have had a piece of black tape that would go over that light because any light that faces the camera is going to bleed through and it's going to cause those small streaks. All right. So that looks good. So we got the light on the top and the lights on the bottom and near the side to clean it up. We're just taking a look at what has done. I'm going to replace the, uh, the license plate just to take that out. There's some before and after, just to show you how that was cleaned up there. 
And uh, looking here at this license plate, now we'll speed through this process, but um, for this particular example, uh, I'm just gonna find a blank Nova Scotia plate on Google. We'll just put that in. Um, usually I would spend more time and I may put something else where the license plate should be um, or just uh, take it out completely. So again, some before and after showing what has been cleaned up so far. And we will add another layer. And this is just the background. And for the background, I am uh, cleaning up. There's some spots here. It looks like oil spots or something on the ground. Uh, going through, cleaning this up. And we're going to go over to the side here near the right. First, I'll give it kind of a, a slight crop. It needs more of a horizontal and wide feel to it. Move that over there. This is just working on the background layer. Okay, and that's good. Uh, okay, a little light uh, bleeding in from the side there. Now you'll see, let's add a layer. I should have done this on the other layer, but you'll see this is me. You can see kind of remnants of me, and that was a combination of the exposure wasn't long enough. Um, I probably didn't wear the darkest clothes possible, but it's really when you, you do have these mistakes, can you do something with the photo? Can you clean it up? So I'm just kind of cloning portions of the photo and just trying to take out a little bit of what you see of me, some of my legs that were in the photo. And to kind of cover that up, I'm going to use a little bit and add a little bit of smoke to that. And we're sampling a color from the image. I know this is very, very strong. Uh, I'm going to calm this down once I get some in here. And a little bit here on the end. Now I'm going to blur and use the Gaussian blur for this. We'll crank it up quite high. And then with the opacity on this, uh, I do want to kind of drop this down quite a bit. But um, there's a little bit bleeding over here. I just want to get rid of that. We'll use a brush to get rid of that smoke there. It's obviously very strong, too strong. Opacity down to zero. We'll just bring it up a bit. And that's just to add a little bit of separation of the car from the background as well as cover up some of the mistakes I had in the photo. And uh, we're just gonna stretch the uh, the fog, the smoke here. Let me just play around and move this around. And that's pretty good. And that's all I wanted is just a, a little separation. And the final thing, I had a little streak. Now I did take it out. Uh, there was a kind of a flare on the right side. It was small, uh, but I'm gonna add kind of a bigger one here. We're gonna move this around, put it near the corner. And we'll use some uh, levels adjustments here just for the, the aura that's kind of around that. It's a little too intense. I want to calm that down. All right, so that's it pretty much so far. Uh, I'm just going to give it a slight crop, a little bit more crop. And um, after this, we'll take it into Lightroom and do some final adjustments for the photo. Now here in Lightroom, I'm going through some of the, uh, some of the basic things to clean it up. Um, the vignetting, we'll add a little bit of the vignetting with this and we'll uh, reduce the exposure of the foreground. That was just a bit too bright. There were some lights that were behind me. And we'll close that. And really this is just using a combination of different adjustments in Lightroom, including sharpening. We're gonna mask out that sharpening and we'll take it up quite high for the masking. And we're pretty much done. We'll just make some other with the saturation. We'll down, go down just a bit. And that's pretty much it. So that's really just taking a photo. If you were light painting a photo, you didn't have enough exposures. You actually kind of forgot, which is unfortunate. It can happen. It's always important to have kind of a checklist of which photos you want to get uh, and make sure each portion is lit and make sure you have the photos that you need when you go to combine them for the final photo in Photoshop. So that's it. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video.